everyone to be welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, my best friend Sky moved away. Okay, this weekend is gonna be like super busy. First we have Dan, but then I was hoping after that we could like go and get some new clothes. I've been waiting to go shopping, but I can't go with my mom. I need your opinions. And then after that we can go for dinner. Oh, and of course we're getting Starbucks. Duh! Alright, if that is the perfect plan, don't say anything. Okay, great. I knew I had the perfect plan. Wait, what? What do you mean what? I've been talking to you this entire time. Haven't you been listening? I'm sorry, I wasn't. I just have a lot on my mind. Well, clearly we have a lot to discuss, which is why I'm trying to iron out our weekend plans. There is nothing we can't discuss over a pink drink and a birthday cake cake pop. I don't want a cake pop. Okay, now I know something is wrong. You just said you don't want a Starbucks cake pop. What is wrong? Come on, spill. I, I don't want to make you upset. Well, you're already denying me of a cake pop. How much more upset can I get? Mackenzie, my uh, family is moving away this weekend. Aw, that really sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll still get to visit them all the time. It's okay. You still have me. No, no, girly. That's just it. I'm going with that. Wait, back up. I don't understand. I'm moving away, girly. My dad got another job, and it's in a different city. It's too far for him to commute. No, 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 no. I know. They can't just leave you and see you, I don't know, every other weekend and holiday? I asked, but they're insisting I go with them. No, just no. I know. It's literally the worst news I've ever heard in my life. What am I supposed to do without you? Like, what even is life without you? I can't come to school without my bestie. Who am I going to sit with at lunch? Who will I stay on the phone with all night? We even coordinated our bathroom passes so we could pee at the same time. No, this is not going to work. I know, but I don't know what else to do. Well, I'll tell you one thing, that it's not going to happen. You are not moving. What? Yeah, you heard me. There is no way I'm going to let you leave Brookhaven. I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't want to leave anyway. Okay, perfect. So we agreed. You're not going anywhere. Curly, I think you may have missed the part where my parents said they're going this weekend. If you really don't want me to go, we need more than just talk. We need a plan. Okay, a plan, a plan. Hmm, what sort of plan? This is your idea. Okay, well, I'm going to do everything in my powers to not let you move. So I better come up with something and fast. <gasps> I got it! Wow, that was quick! Well, you literally gave me no warning, so I had to think fast. Okay, what if suddenly your dad's job isn't available anymore? I like it, but how? Okay, what if two lovely ladies were to call and tell them that your dad made a horrible mistake taking the job? And in fact, he regrets it and is going to turn it down. Oh, and those two lovely young ladies are us? Now you're catching on. Okay, I'm in. So what are we going to do this? After school, Mission Keep Bessie in Brookhaven is officially in effect. And will not stop until you're here in class with me. Monday morning, no moving. If your parents want to take you away, they're going to have to go through me first. Moments later. Okay, call. Me? Why do I have to call? Why can't you call? This was your idea. Uh, duh. It's not my dad. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, everything. It's your dad, so you'll be more convincing. Come on, you know if it was my dad, you know I would do it. Yeah, right. You just want to get out of talking on the phone. Whatever the reason, are you going to do it or not? Uh, fine. Uh, hello, my name is Sky. You may not know me, but you definitely know my dad. Anyway, my dad made a huge mistake by taking this job. It's a long story, but it comes down to the move being just too traumatic for his two children. Ooh, nice angle. I wish I thought of that. It was a very kind job offer, and our family greatly appreciates it. However, we will no longer be needing it as we're staying in Brookhaven. Thank you so much for your time. So, so Sky, that was brilliant. You think? Are you sure you've never done this before? Oh, yeah. I turn down jobs for my parents all the time. It's going to be my career. Okay, okay, I get it. So, I guess that's it then. Are you sure? It seems a little too easy. Hey, sometimes just because something is easy doesn't mean it can't work. I thought it was just a law of the universe that it is exactly what that means. Stop being so negative. The point is, you don't have to move now. So, let's just put that behind us and celebrate. Later that same evening. Wow, that 
Netflix has really overdone themselves with all these new shows. I might have to just stream them all night. Huh? Hey! What was that for? I was watching that. We have to talk to you, young lady. Okay, but that's what the pause button is for. There's no need to turn it off. That's just rude. Forget about the TV. Sky's mom just called. And what did she say? That you are in big trouble. For... Mackenzie, did you and Sky call her dad's boss? It's possible. Do you know how much trouble you could have gotten him into? Look, nobody's seeing this from our side. They can't just move Sky away. Mackenzie, they are her parents. They can do whatever they want. Well, I disagree. There is no reason Sky can't just stay here with us. And she'll just continue at school and her parents are going to just visit her. Sure there is. And they're her family and they want her to be with them. I know it's hard for you, but you can't ask them to give up their daughter. Why? They're asking me to give up my best friend. Look, kiddo, we both know that this is hard for you. But there is nothing you can do to keep Skye from leaving. She is moving this weekend and that's final. Ah! Meanwhile. Hey, girly. Hey, Skye. Did your parents just yell at you? Mine just completely unloaded on me. Yeah, same. Look, that plan did not work as I thought it would. No kidding! I got screamed at! Okay, which means we gotta think of something else. Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, I don't wanna go either, girl, but I'm supposed to leave in like three days. No, no, hear me out. Pack a bag and come with me. And go where? It doesn't matter. We'll just run away. They can't take you if they can't find you, right? Ooh, I like the way your mind works. We'll start a new life, just the two of us. Who needs parents anyways, right? I mean, after tonight, I certainly am not thrilled with mine. Okay, great. It's a plan. Pack your bag and meet me at the street corner in 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. You think I brought enough? Gee, Sky, it's not like we're going to be gone forever. It's hard to pack your life in a suitcase, girly. All right. Well, good luck carrying all of that with you. So where are we even going? I don't know. I thought we would just head out and find some place eventually. Do you have any money? No. You? Nope. Guy, but I thought you had money from your grandparents. Sorry, but I spent all those on Robux. Okay. So now we have no money and no place to live. I'm sure things will be fine. Okay. Let's start walking. Huh? Why are we stopping? Because we don't have a destination. We're just walking aimlessly. Yes, we don't have a destination yet. But I'm sure if we walk a little longer, we'll stumble upon something. Face it, girly. Without our parents or any money, we're basically homeless. How do you figure that? Look around. It's dark. We're all alone and have nowhere to sleep tonight. Okay, now that you say it, I guess you're right. We're totally homeless. So what are we going to do? We can't just walk all night. My feet hurt. I don't know, but what I do know is if we turn back, your parents are going to take you away. And I just can't watch you go. But I'm starting to realize that no matter what we do, they're going to take you anyway. I know, it sucks. We can't escape it, can we? I don't think so, and not for a lack of trying either. I mean, we pretty much tried everything. We're standing in the middle of the street in the middle of the night, Kenzie. We might just get kidnapped. I'd say we tried. I know, I just don't want you to go. I don't want to go either. I just want things to stay the way they are forever. It's me and you. I don't want things to change. Me neither. The next day. All right, that was the last box. I don't want to say it. I don't want it to be real. This is it. Don't say that, girly. No, it's not. It's okay. We can be strong. We'll get through this. Heck, we can get through anything. You promise? Of course I promise. Sky, we will conquer anything that comes our way. A little distance has nothing to do with our friendship. Come on, Sky. We're running late. Let's go. So, I guess this really is it. I don't want to cry. Already way past you, girly. You're the bestest best friend I've ever had, Sky. You're the bestest best friend I'm ever going to have. You too, girly. I don't know how I'm going to handle not seeing you every day. I know. Getting to sit next to you was the best part of every day. We're going to be okay, right? Guy, we're not breaking up. We're just going to be a little bit further away. We'll still FaceTime every day. Promise? Promise. Guy, come on. Let's go. I better get going. I love you so much. I love you even more than that. Not possible, but I'll let you have that one. You'll come visit, right? Are you kidding? The first break I have and I'm there. You're going to have to put next 
extra bed in your room for me. Okay, bye, girly. Bye, Sky. A few moments later. Hi, honey. How are you doing? Not well, considering it feels like my heart was just ripped out from my chest. I know. I'm so sorry. I've had friends move away, too. This isn't just a friend, Mom. This is Sky. I know. It's going to be weird not seeing her over here every day. But you know, the distance really doesn't mean anything. What are you talking about? Well, like you said, you and Sky are best friends. Nothing is going to change that. Certainly not a little distance. Her living far away isn't going to affect your friendship. If anything, it's going to make it much stronger. Would you like to elaborate on that, please? Listen, it might take a little more effort, but trust me when I say the love and the friendship you two have will always be the same. Friendships worth having are sometimes worth fighting for. I guess so. And if anything, you guys are getting this out of the way early. I mean, you were going to go off to college eventually anyways, right? So you have to say goodbye to Sky then. Oh no, we were going to be roommates and basically see each other every second of every day. Well, even though that sounded like a great plan, your best friend is about to start a whole new life. So instead of lying down here feeling sorry for yourself, why don't you go and see if she's made it to her new house safely? Thanks. You're right, Mom. I'm going to call her right now. Hello? Hey, girly. I know it's only been a few hours, but it feels like it's been an eternity. I miss you so much. Uh, Mackenzie? No, no. Me first. I want to be excited for you in this new chapter. So, tell me everything about your new house. I just called to make sure you got there safely. Yeah, about that. On the drive, my dad's old job called and offered him more money than the new place. So, we're turning the car back around and we're moving back to Brookhaven. So, thank you guys so much for watching and congratulations to Gazedra Hall for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment down.